Hey, this is Ur. In this video, we will implement a Magic Link authentication using Lucia Out. Let me show you the demo. I will enter my Outlook. I will hit Submit. And I see that Magic Link is sent successfully. Let me go to my inbox. I see that my link is here. I will click on it and I'm logged in. It's easy. And if I sign out and click on this button again, I get an error, which is great. It's very easy to implement and let's see how we can do it. As a starting point, we will use email branch in my repository. I will give the repository link and you can check out this branch and you can follow me as I uh, wrote code. So first thing I will do is create a new PostgreSQL database. That's why I will go to readme and find this database section and I will copy this script and paste it here. And now we have a database. We have a user table and hash password, email and is email verified field, which we won't need in this tutorial. I will also get rid of from this hash password field. And we have email verification table, which we don't need it anymore. We just need an ID and email, right? But if you also want to provide some uh, like username, password, authentication besides magic link, you should uh, modify this schema. So after uh, modifying our schema.ts, we should open up a new terminal and run this. There is a kit push PG command to apply our changes and all changes are applied. That's great. Now I will go and run this project, go to 3000. I can see my sign in page and we have email and password, as you can see. Now what we can do is go to sign in form and also we get some errors in that actions, which is fine. It's because this branch is for email verification authentication and, and we did remove the email verification table. So it's giving some errors, which is fine, but we will remove them in a bit. For now, I will go to sign in form and then remove the password field. And we need to also change sign in schema. Here we have types folder inside it. In, we have index.ts, which we define our ZOT schemas, and we can get rid of those. We will only need an email, right? I go back to sign in form. Now I will remove this password field. Okay, everything seems nice. Once sign in button is clicked, we are calling a function sign in, which is a server action. As you can see, we will change it. So I will go to actions and create a new file. I will say magic link actions TS and I will create a new function sign in and get rid of this import. And I will import this from magic link actions instead of out that actions. So that that seems OK. And let's also comment this. That's great. Inside this function, let me actually start with a try catch block. And in catch, I will return success, false message, error message and data will be null. And I will make this type any. That's nice. So here we will parse the values so that we will sure that the values the values has a valid email based on Zod validation. And after that, we will check if this email exists in our database or not. So let's call DB. I will import DB and we will query to user table and we will call find first. And it expects to have a config file, as you can see. And it's an object. We will pass a where field, where key, and it gets a table. And I can say equal. This comes from Drizzle ORM. And first one will be user table email. And as a second parameter, I will pass the given email that we get from the user. So this line finds the user if it exists or not. Let's call it existed user. If I hover on it, I can see that it may either an existed user or it's undefined. So I can have a if clause. If existed user is exist, we will send an email. Otherwise, that means there is no user. 
we will create the user then send an email so this part is same let's start with creating the user i will say await db insert user table and the values will be email use email and it's also expect an id i will give an id we will call generate id from lucia like this it's all good so i don't want to deal with sending email right now that's why we will simulate it i will log the information into console and we will behave as it is an email but we will implement sending email at the end this email should include a token where this token should redirect users to our app and we should check if that token is valid if it's valid we should redirect user to our dashboard by authenticating them that's why we will create a new function to create the the url with the token i will say export cons generate magic link and it will get an email as parameter let's have a try catch here i will just return any and i can actually go to that actions we have already done it i will grab this a jwt sign in part and paste it here and i will import jwt from json web token and i will get rid of from user id and code and get rid of from values and it expires in five minutes that's great and all we do is create a new url we can use next public base url here it's because we have this next public base url in our env file and you can define this part as as you wish and all we do is returning this url like this and we don't need to actually export this function we will use it here here as well if that success is not there but actually we can make it better so i can go to generate magic link function and get rid of from try catch if there is an error occurs it will throw an error which we will catch it inside sign in function and it will automatically go into here all we do is logging this with that data let's think this as an email for now i will do the same here as well this is all for this function let's go back to our app we get a can't resolve yes error i again forgot to put use server okay we are good and i will enter my email and we get a url inside the console if i click on it i will redirect it to that url but we don't have this page yet let's create a root handler for handling this i will go to app api and we have already a root for verify email let's copy that one and paste it here and change it to what is called out magic link so i think we we should have out put it inside there and call it magic link like this i will go inside root.ts so all we do is grabbing the url and then we are getting the params from the params we get the token and it is same a key with this uh, tutorial so token um that's fine if there is no token we just return error then we decode the uh, jwt token as you can see and this part is not valid anymore we will just get rid of these two decoded will include email only um we don't need this part this part as well and this part i made a mistake since it creates session expects a user id we should also include user id inside the token so i will go back to magic link actions and i will include user id as well actually user id is enough not email but that's fine let's include both of them user id and it seems fine the important part is sign in function here since we are just creating the user i will move this generate id above here and use this user id for creating the user and this part i can simply pass the user id in this part we can use existed user that id like this it is easy as that right now i can go to root.ts now i can add user id like like this and now we know that the code 
has a user ID property and we can generate session and set it in the cookie, redirect users to our dashboard. I go back and if I refresh, nothing happens. It's because we forgot to put API here like this. It worked, but in this token, we didn't have user ID yet. So we need to create a new token. Besides that, we also need to uh, change this URL. We should include API, right? This is the correct one. Let me go back to sign in page. Actually, here I get a new URL. If I click on it and we are just uh, logged in, but there is a way to improve this implementation. What will happen if I click on this URL once more? So I have gone incognito and I will paste it and I am again logged in, which doesn't make sense, right? It's because we only check if this JWT is valid or not. Is it expired or not? But instead, what we can do is store this token inside our database. And once someone logs in, we may remove that token from database so that if someone click that link, we will also check if that link exists in our database or not. If it is not exist, we don't just do anything, even though JWT is valid. So that's why I will modify generate magic link function just a bit. I will return the token and URL separately. And where do we use this generate magic here, right? And we will need to go to schema TS and we will just create a new table, a magic link table, and it will have an ID. It's actually might be a serial. It doesn't matter. So let's give it a serial. So it automatically increase and a user ID that references to our user and a token. And, and that's all. I will go to a new terminal and run drizzle kit pg push sorry push there is a kit push pg and i will say yes now i can insert this token inside our magic link table i will say db insert magic link table and the values will be user id is there and the token is there that's great i will copy this part and paste it here instead of existed user id i can just pass this user id here or leave it as it is. That's all for this function. I will now go to root.ts. After decoding JWT means that JWT is valid, but we need to check if this token is exist in our database or not. If it is not existed, that means that someone used this token before. So we will return an error. I will say existed token and we will await db query magic link table find first. We will have a where clause and user ID is enough actually. And it should be existed by the way. And if it's not existed, we are just returning invalid token. That's great. I will go back to my app. I will say sign out and click any enter an email and click submit. Okay, here I can see a URL. I will click on it and we get an error. It says invalid input syntax. I think we, I did a mistake here. Okay, I guess this is the issue. Uh, we shouldn't pass the user table, but we should instead pass magic link table and user ID like this. If I go back and hit refresh, I'm logged in. Uh, but the good thing, if I go back and go to same URL. Okay, sorry. Let me sign out and hit this URL. I'm again logged in. It's because we, we did remove this existed token, right? Um, else, if, if this token is existed, that means this token hasn't used yet and it's about to get used. We will authenticate the user, right? That's why we will delete this token with this code. So I will sign out. I will actually enter a new email and my URL is there. I will copy this URL and paste it here. I'm logged in. I will sign out and let's say someone will someone get that link and tries to log your account or even you and I will paste it and 
enter, it says invalid token. That's great. And we managed to make this secure. That's great. And let me actually get rid of these parts. It was all for authenticating user using magic link. And let's actually use resend for sending emails. But you can use any any provider to send emails like AWS or, or other services. So I'm logged into my account. We will need to add our domain and verify, then get an API key. Here, let's create a new API key, access, add, and we have an API key. I will go to my ENV file. I will say resend secret and paste it here. Then I will go to emails. They have an API button. I will click on this and they explain how to send an email. I will copy this code and go to sign magic link actions and I will create a new function send email. You can also create this function in maybe lib folder. It, it, it makes sense. And I will move this import into the top of the file like this. Here, instead of this, we will pass our secret key. Resend secret key. I think it was named like this. Oh, resend secret. That's fine. And we shouldn't send, we shouldn't change this from field. It's because we didn't verify our domain and we are just testing the resend. They allow to send emails from this address. We will see in a bit. And I will enter my Gmail, get rid of attachments, headers is for like once you send a multiple emails, they stack together. If you give them a random entity ref ID, they will be shown as separate emails instead of stacking up. So we can just use generate ID here from Lucia. And we don't need to have tags, subject, magic, link. As text, I will pass click the link to sign in, which seems okay. And let's install recent, npmi recent. And instead of logging the data, I will call send email and pass our email and the URL like this. And I will paste here as well. So we have a lot of lot of common, common code. We can make some abstraction here, but I don't care right now. And we will finally, we will just return magic link sent successfully. I will go to my app and enter an email, but I realized something. I didn't use this parameter, right? So I will pass it here. Okay, that seems okay. And let me enter my Gmail and hit submit. Go to my Gmail. Okay, so since I have used my Outlook, it was I didn't get any email to my uh, Gmail. So I entered my Outlook where I get the email. As you can see, click it says click the link to sign in. And if I copy this and go back to my browser and paste it here, I could also click on it. Anyway, I'm logged in. So if I use this link again, I get invalid token. That's good. Yeah, this was all this for this video. I hope you enjoyed and it was helpful to you. Uh, you can always make some comments. How can I improve myself and the videos? Just let me know. I enjoy while recording these videos. And don't forget to like and hit that subscribe button. If you have any other video ideas, just let me know. Before I forget, you can find this code in my GitHub profile. Okay, see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.